Dopamine is kind of like a wave pool. You have this reservoir that can allow you to pursue things or scroll the internet or build businesses, whatever it is. If you are really forward center of mass, very intensely, you start generating these waves. And if you get big waves of dopamine and they crash out of the pool, you start depleting the reservoir. So when I think about drugs of abuse like cocaine, which leads to huge surges in dopamine, or um, amphetamines, huge surges in dopamine. What do we know about huge surges in dopamine? Well, after those huge surges, you drop below your initial baseline to a state in which the same thing doesn't feel as good anymore. You need so much more energy to get the same output. You know, it's sort of like a seesaw, but what, whereby you get a big peak in dopamine, mm -hmm. let's say from a drug of abuse like cocaine. People on cocaine, it's all about ideas and what's next. They're not like, hey, let's just kick back. It's all about what's, they, in fact, they have a million ideas per second. Most of them are terrible ideas, but they're very forward center of mass, motivated. And then when the drug wears off, they feel very low and very depressed. The dopamine is actually depleted below baseline. People that work excessively, right? We all have different abilities to work out, but people that work excessively and abuse stimulants in order to do that, achieve these peaks.